Hello, so I have Photoshop open and I have opened in Photoshop, um, not quite my final, but we're pretending that it's my final, okay? So you're gonna want to present it as a horizontal image. So the first thing you want to do is to turn your image. So I'm gonna select all of this with my um, with the square marquee, marquee tool. And under image, I'm going to say rotation, image rotation, 90% counterclockwise. Okay. Now, the other thing I want to do is this is distorted. So if I bring my rulers over here, so if you don't see your rulers, you go to view and then you show rulers. So you can drag down these lines from your ruler. So you can see that's not square. So then what I do is I'm going to select this board and I'm going to go under edit, transform, distort. Okay, under edit, transform, distort. I get these little handles so I can pull this over. So now sometimes you want to make sure you get the right percentages too. So um, when you're distorting, make sure you don't get something that feels very squat like that. Okay, so um, might not be perfect. So, and the reason why, even though you took your picture so carefully trying to make it square, the lens is going to distort. So I'm just gonna make sure that's all nice and neat and clean. Okay. All right. Um, so now if your image is very yellow, you can see this transitions from um, a cooler to a warmer. This is where my window was. And still shooting in front of the window is the best thing that you can do, but you can play with some of the adjustments, sometimes I play with auto color, and then you can go to your histories, which looks like this, and you can go back and forth. So does it look better now? It looks slightly better. Um, and then you can go to auto contrast. Does it look better with auto contrast? I don't think so. So I'm going to not do auto contrast. I'm going to leave it at auto color and then I'm going to go back to auto tone and I don't like the way that looks either so I'm going back to here. And the last thing I'm going to do now is I am going to select carefully the boundaries and I am going to go up to image crop. Okay. Now your file should not be larger than two megabytes. So if I go up to image and I look at my image size, this is telling me my image size is 21.2 megabytes. Okay. So, um, and my file is 41 inches and 72 dpi resolution. So I'm going to make my file, um, it's originally 17 inches, right? So let me make it 17. And so I can see mine is slightly distorted, actually. See, it says the height, when the width is 17, the height is set is 14.188, which is very slight, and that's totally acceptable. And I have resampled in here, so it's not distorting it. It's keeping them both um, proportional. And I'm going to say, okay. So now it says 3.5 here, which is a lot better, but I'm going to say, okay, it's still not two under two megabytes, but when I save my file, so I'm going to save as, now you've got the naming convention on the assignment, which says that it's going to be your last name, your first name, um, and let me see, I put down scales, I believe, but you're going to double check. So it's going to be Lily, Kristen, gray scale, and then I put down that it should be a PDF. So this, the automatic format was JPEG, 
So I'm going to scroll until I get to where is it moving my mind? Photoshop PDF. Okay, so it says Photoshop PDF. I'm going to save. The little rainbow wheel. One thing you want to check is where you're saving it to, and I didn't actually pay attention. I'm sure I'm saving it to the file. Um, save PDF. So if I go back, and so it's um, yeah, gray, gray value scale. So make sure it says gray value scale. Whatever I say in the assignment is what you should do. I go back to my folder. Where I keep all my stuff under teaching. Here's this class. This is week one. And so I have Kristen Lilly gray scale. And so it says it's 2.3 megabytes. So that's too large, right? So I'm gonna go back into Photoshop, open my Photoshop file. So now I am going to go back into image size and I am going to, you can either change the resolution or you can change the size. So I'm going to change, and again, resample is, I'm going to hit, um, 15 and it kept the proportion, so I'll say OK. File, save as my PDF. Um, actually, I can just ride over the old file. Um, sorry, let me go this way. I'm just going to save it on my desktop here. It'll be quicker. Save. Um, you know what? Actually, I was too quick. I do not want to preserve editing capabilities, which will actually make my file smaller because we don't need to go back and edit it. So my file here now i can just drop it into here okay so now this file is 1.9 perfect but I accidentally unnamed it, so it should be Lily. Just spell my name, own name right. Grace, gray, value, scale, and it says dot PDF, okay? Dot there, okay. And so then you would upload that to um, Blackboard when you're done. Okay, great.